My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got a pretty special, unique car. When's the last time you've seen one of these in our videos? 1973 Pontiac Firebird Formula. It was born a 455 with a four speed. That's one of just a couple hundred made. That's a rare, rare car. They bought the car with no motor. So what it has now is a 1970 400 built to Ram Air 3 specs. This thing's body off the frame, rotisserie restored. And I got all the documentation right here uh, to uh, you know, verify what's been done to the car. So we got a really neat piece here. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures. And that's where you'll find the price. Not only on this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for now, join me. Let's go for a spin in a 73 formula. Yeah, so I said they took the body off the frame. It's actually a subframe up front, but they dropped everything out of this car. There was no chassis, no rear end. All of it was dropped from the car. They rebuilt the entire front end. All the steering components, linkages, ball joints, bushings, it's all new. It's all been replaced. It has KYB. Uh, gas shocks front and back also has two inch lowering uh, coil springs in front two inch lowering leaf springs in back uh, new bushings and hardware back here too the brake system was completely replaced all new emergency brake assembly uh, does have discs in front and it's all been re redone new fuel system the tank the sending unit the fuel lines uh, also, the brake lines were replaced, too. Uh, it has an exhaust system from Summit Racing. It's a two-and-a-half-inch exhaust. I think it has an H-pipe in the middle, and it has the correct transverse muffler. It sits in there sideways and then goes back to two pipes going out. The bottom of the car itself is all clean metal. The whole car is metal. They did a professional restoration. They had the body set up on a jig to keep everything nice and square. It's all metal. Any rust was removed and replaced. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's clean. The starter, the fuel pump look new. It does have a Muncie 4 speed. I think it's the M21. Completely rebuilt. The synchros, the bearings, uh, everything related uh, to it. The flywheel, the clutch, uh, the pilot bushing. Uh, it's a Hurst. Uh, competition shift linkage so everything related to the trans has been replaced it's original rear end for the car it's a 342 posi that's in there the body like i said it's all metal all clean metal there's no rust no damage professionally done everything fits really well it's all smooth there's no no cracking no problem areas i didn't see anything about it that i didn't like Everything fits and lines up nice. It's all smooth. It was done right. It has the rear spoiler, the tail lights, bumper, emblems, all that's new. All the glass, all the windows are new. This rear trim is new. Door handles are new. The window seals, weather strips are new. All smooth down along here. Looks like the rocker molding's new. It has the sport mirrors. New windshield, of course, new emblems. Now these are new 15 by eight, so they're bigger than the originals. 15 by eight rally wheels with Cooper tires on there. This is the original hood. This is a fiberglass hood. This is a functional Ram Air. It's the original hood that came on the car. The rubber bumper is in excellent shape. It fits really well. It has those typical hairline cracks because it's rubber I guess just from people leaning on it there's hairline cracks in the paint not the bumper the bumper is excellent the grills are excellent headlight bezels look like they're new it says ram air right here so the interior has been completely redone 
Uh, the moldings around the windshield are good original. They're not new. They're a little discolored. From PUI Interiors, they got new door panels, new upholstery, new headliner, new console, new dash cap. All of that's been replaced. Looks like the locks, the window cranks, the door handles are new. New carpet. It has the Hurst shifter. It does have the original AM FM 8 track stereo. And it has a 1973 Fleetwood Mac 8 track that goes with it. And it does actually work. Inside the trunk, all clean metal. I had the mats out of here. It's just all clean metal with a nice gray uh, spatter finish paint in there. They painted all this real nice and the jams painted nice. Does have new weather strip, new trunk mat, new sticker, new wiring throughout. New wiring in the trunk, in the car, in the engine. They made a point to say this is the brightest white they could get. So it's a super bright white and it is a clear coat and it's polished out very smooth and glossy. I didn't find a flaw in the paint. Maybe I missed something minor, but the paint is really slick. Door jams are real slick, even up here by the hinges, the sill plates, all that's real nice. A lot of work's been done to the motor. We have the name of the, the builder, is somebody down in Georgia. That's where the car was restored, down in Georgia. A well-known engine builder did this. It's a 400, a 1970 motor, so that's a good motor. Uh, it's got the Ram Air 3 cam. It has the stock Ram Air exhaust manifolds, uh, Holley intake and Holley carb. I think it's a 670 carb. This is functional uh, Ram Air. These little rubber boots touch the air cleaner and the air goes right into it. Uh, it has a vintage air conditioning system, all new pulleys, brackets, a 100 amp one wire alternator, all new power steering, all new power brakes with a cadmium plated booster. The seats are new. There's a couple, there's some wrinkles in the seats. They could have got it to fit a little nicer. There are a few wrinkles. Uh, the headliner looks nice. Does have its original formula steering wheel. It's one of my most favorite steering wheels. The red just pops against the white. Does have rally gauges. I don't know if they're new, but the gauges look new. The clock is ticking. Has the updated vintage air heater and uh, AC controls, so they're electric slides, so they move real nice and easy. Uh, so inside the car is real nice. More I want to tell you in here. It's got an aluminum radiator with dual electric fans, new battery, new wiper motor, new hood latch assembly. Has an HEI ignition system. I think I'm forgetting some of it. There are more specs on our website if you go to read it. It does have one of those vacuum pumps because of the cam that's in there. Not quite enough vacuum for the power brake, so it has an external uh, pump to help with that. All right, let's start it up. Seats feel real good. Nice and firm. Comfy, comfy seats. Electric fuel pump. That sounds great. Nothing wrong about that. That, that sounds awesome. It fits perfectly square. did want to point out the little joystick to adjust the mirror is broken off. So typically you don't have to move those much. You can move it with your hand. But there you have it. 
I think it's a pretty cool car. It sounds like it wants to run. I haven't driven it yet, but it, it just felt good pulling it in here. That motor sounds nice. The motor and trans were built by professionals. Comes with a whole pile of documentation. It's a unique car. You're going to pull up to the car shows. You won't be parked next to another one of these. That's my impression of this car. You can go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways on there to contact the salesman. If you have specific concerns or questions, please ask them. They'd be more than happy to help you. They can also make the delivery, the financing, and the paperwork all real easy. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy watching our videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you click on the bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next one that's posted. Thanks for watching.